Pavel Datsuk is one of the most entertaining players in the history of the NHL. He's known for his incredible hands and flashy moves, enough so that his highlights have gotten millions and millions of views, more than pretty much any player in the league's history. With a reputation like that, lots of Datsuk's other qualities can get overshadowed pretty easily. He was consistently one of the NHL's top defensive forwards, receiving Selkie votes in 10 consecutive NHL seasons. He was a leader, both on the ice, often as the Red Wings' best player, and also in the literal sense of being their assistant captain for a decade. And he was a winner, helping Detroit to win two Stanley Cups throughout his career and never once miss the playoffs. He's lots of different things, and the combination of all of these skill sets are what make him responsible for being one of the biggest influences on the NHL in its current state. Today, let's take a look at the career of Pavel Datsuk, and how his game and style of play shaped hockey and the NHL into what it is today. It's still relatively recent in the scope of NHL history that Russians and Europeans were completely overlooked. At one point, there was actual reason to do so. Russian players who wanted to leave for the NHL sometimes weren't even allowed to do so, and so why would the NHL even bother scouting or drafting them? But even long after that point had passed, some still saw nationality as a factor and overlooked those players for other reasons. They'd claim that Europeans were all flash, that they wouldn't get rough in the corners or couldn't play up to the standards of the North Americans. And for anyone who still thought that way into the 2000s, Pavel Datsuk was the perfect player to prove them wrong. Datsuk was a picture-perfect on-ice role model. He kept that flash the European players were known for while building out the types of skills that coaches and analysts couldn't help but love. For the entirety of his career, he was excellent in the dot, winning faceoffs at 53.4% or better for as long as they've tracked the stat. He rarely took any penalties, peaking with 35 penalty minutes in his third season. After that year, he never went above 22 penalty minutes again. And of course, the defensive stick work, the takeaways and steals that played a huge part in Datsuk winning three consecutive Selkie trophies. If you asked anyone following the sport, whether it be a coach, fellow player, TV analyst, or fan, if Pavel Datsuk played the right way, they would all say yes, and all for a variety of different reasons. Even in the midst of Prime Crosby, Prime Ovechkin, there was a point where people would argue that Pavel Datsuk was the best player in the NHL. This played a huge influence on the next generation of NHL stars, the generation of players that we're seeing today in the 2020s. Leon Dreisaitl has cited Datsuk as his number one guy, the exact type of player he wants to emulate. In actuality, the two maybe aren't the best comparables for one another, but following that pathway has brought Dreisaitl to superstar status as one of the best players in the NHL, even arguably the second best in the league. Leading into his draft, Nico Heischer would bring up Datsuk, also citing him as his favorite player and the guy he wants to play like. He's earned a similar defensive reputation over the past season or two, and many expect that he'll claim a Selkie trophy as well in the coming seasons. It's no doubt that tens or even hundreds of other NHL players and prospects have modeled their game after Pavel Datsuk. He became the role model for a generation of young players, the same players now ripping it up in the best league in the world. And, if people were saying that Europeans can't play the right way before, they're certainly not saying it now. Datsuk's flair and flashy side is very well known, and puts him among the most popular players in recent NHL history. But it's not like he's the only superstar ever to have incredible hands and flashy moves. There's a reason that Datsuk is the one that stands out, that he draws so much more attention than many of the league's other superstars. Datsuk was an innovator. While maybe not the originator of some of his iconic moves, he popularized them and brought them to the forefront of the game. 
On multiple occasions, he performed the drag back, backhand toe drag, or whatever you want to call it. This move became immensely popular afterwards. Coaches taught it, kids practiced it, and other NHL players tried it. He also popularized the flip move, or Datsuk flip. This wasn't originally his, as Linus Omark can be credited with being the first to do this on the world stage when he scored it for Sweden in 2009. But it was something else that he popularized among fans worldwide, and people have been trying all sorts of flips and flicks since. Basically, Pavel Datsuk was living proof of the argument for Flash being effective in hockey. He wasn't doing flips, flicks, and toe drags just to show off, it was a legitimately effective strategy that scored him goals and won him games. Making Flash effective in the NHL serves to benefit both players and the league as a whole an incredible amount. Fun players bring in fans, fans bring in money, and that money goes right back to the NHL, and to some degree, it's players. Trevor Zegras is a perfect example of someone in the NHL today adopting that Flash's effective playstyle. His flips, flicks, and toe drags have led to him being one of the most discussed players across the NHL, even if he's played on one of the league's worst teams and not scored at any sort of incredible rate. Zegras' emergence is good for everyone, and does that type of style even exist in the NHL today without Pavel Datsuk? To sum it all up, Pavel Datsuk changed the NHL forever by the fact that there was perhaps no bigger influence on the crop of young players in the league today than him. He fundamentally changed the way that many people saw the game. In one way or another, Datsuk was a huge role model for many of the league's best players, and the reason many today play the way that they do. Because of how widespread his highlights are, no doubt the influence of Pavel Datsuk will continue, encouraging players to play an entertaining but responsible style. The type of style that earns you respect. The type of style that scores you goals. And hopefully, the style that wins you championships. <laughs>